A series of expeditions in Morocco between 2015 and 2019 uncovered a groundbreaking Spinosaurus fossil that changes the way we perceive dinosaurs in the natural world. This discovery marks Spinosaurus as the first confirmed aquatic dinosaur. Paleontologists found a well-preserved fossil of a Spinosaurus tail, showing that the animal's tail was composed of long vertebrae that stretched along its length, resembling a paddle, with some of the spines reaching almost one meter in length. Throughout the years, theories supporting a semi-aquatic dinosaur have been proposed due to its short legs, crocodile-like snout with similar sensors and teeth, and forward center of gravity, which would have favored swimming over bipedal movement. Its legs had osteosclerosis, or high bone density, which enabled the Spinosaurus to better control its buoyancy in the water. However, this new discovery suggests that the dinosaur may have been mostly aquatic, implying that it only returned to land to lay eggs or scavenge for carcasses. This discovery marks a huge moment for the dinosaur community and for the scientific world as a whole. As the Harvard Gazette put it, with evidence of this new tail fossil, the argument over whether Spinosaurus was aquatic is over. What has Spinosaurus aegyptiacus looked like over the years? Spinosaurus was first discovered in 1912 in the Bahariya Formation of Western Egypt by Richard Markroth. This partial skeleton was recorded by Ernst Stromer as Spinosaurus aegyptiacus. Depictions of the dinosaur during this period mimicked those of other dinosaurs, a large bipedal tail-balanced lizard. Since no full skulls were found yet, it resembled those of other theropod dinosaurs. This original holotype specimen, which was housed in the Bavarian State Collection of Paleontology in Munich, was destroyed in a British bombing raid in 1944. Thankfully, many illustrations of the fossil were preserved, and new information about closely related dinosaurs like Suchomimus helped paleontologists paint a better picture of what the dinosaur may have looked like. In 1998 and 2002, additional dentary fragments were found, which helped to further describe Spinosaurus's snout. In 2001, Jurassic Park 3 was released, starring a massive bipedal Spinosaurus with long legs and arms. They even included a fight scene between the Spinosaurus and the Tyrannosaurus, in which Spinosaurus won, beginning a heated debate across the internet concerning who should have won. In 2005, Dal Sasso and his colleagues described a more complete snout of the dinosaur. Spinosaurus was beginning to take shape as an exceptionally unusual dinosaur. In 2014, a partial sub-adult Spinosaurus specimen was discovered in the Chem Chem beds of North Africa. Nazar Ibrahim and his team of researchers made some shocking claims and caused the world to change the way they viewed the dinosaur. Based on their discoveries, they proposed Spinosaurus to have stunted hind limbs, suggesting the animal's time was mostly spent in the water. Paleo art exploded with recreations. This marked the most significant and controversial Spinosaurus discovery since its original finding. This inspired new designs for the animal in pop culture, like Ark Survival Evolved's quadrupedal interpretation. Many depictions show Spinosaurus hunting a huge 26-foot-long sawfish known as Onchopristus based on fossil record. It turns out that Ibrahim's proposals were far from unfounded. Between 2015 and 2019, new Spinosaurus fossils indicate that the dinosaur was a predominantly aquatic animal. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, the new fossils show that Spinosaurus had a paddle-like tail composed of long vertebrae that reached the length of the tail. This tail is identical in function to that of a crocodile, suggesting one of the most striking and compelling examples of convergent evolution in nature, or the tendency for distantly related animals to gain the same adaptations over time due to similar environmental conditions. I would imagine Spinosaurus' method of swimming looks similar to this crocodile's, with the sail possibly acting as a giant dorsal fin. At the end of the day, Spinosaurus will always be one of my favorite dinosaurs, and it is certainly one of the most interesting and unique. I think it's finally time to lay the T-Rex vs. Spinosaurus debate to rest. We can appreciate the dinosaurs for their incredible differences and the amazing capabilities of the natural world. If you liked my video, be sure to leave a like and comment what you want to see next. If you have any questions about dinosaurs, I'd be happy to respond in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe for more dinosaur content. As always, thank you for watching.